great to be here. Um, and thank you for that little introduction. And as Tay said, my name's Jen Quirk. Um, and I joined Laneway um, four weeks ago, just um, at the beginning of January, um, as a new trainer and facilitator. Um, and I thought I'd start by just giving you a little bit of background on me, um, because, you know, these pe new people arrive and you think, oh, where have they come from? What have they done? Um, and my background is very much as a commercial business leader um, and an executive director for over 25 years. So I've held leadership roles and P&L responsibility and accountability for a number of global uh, companies. And they would include Mary Kay Cosmetics, British Airways, um, and Marks and Spencers, as you can probably tell by the English accent. Um, so during uh, the last 20 years, particularly, um, my areas of expertise have really built and grown around the development and delivery of strategic business plans across multiple channels. Um, to drive sales growth, new market penetration, um, business turnaround strategies and transformation, obviously profitability. And I've worked with both B2B and B2C um, areas. And during that time, I've had a lot of experience within the direct sales industry. Um, some of you will know what that is and some of you won't, um, but that's really um, about working in a corporate environment but for the benefit of independent business owners. Um, and so my roles have been about not only delivering strategic pillars for the company across Australia, New Zealand and into the global um, company, but also working directly with independent business owners, providing the training, the coaching and the mentoring that's helped them to own and build their own successful businesses. I'm also really very proud because I've just got my accreditation and approvals through to be a coach and mentor um, as part of the VCCI Business and Resilience Recovery Programme. The VCCI is the Victorian Chamber of Commerce and Industry, and they offer a government funded programme and service that provides mentoring, coaching um, programs for small and medium sized business startups corporations who apply for the service by the website um, and I work as a mentor and coach um, for them as you know I'm originally from the UK you can tell by the accent and like um, a lot of you guys I 24 years ago I landed in, in Australia um, with two tiny little children um, and looking to um, start again in many ways um, and my journey has been one of, um, I suppose, building, um, building blocks of um, skill, um, of learning um, and of working with independent business owners and um, then obviously moving to the corporate uh, channel. Um, as I said, I joined Laneway in January um, and I'm really looking forward to being able to share knowledge um, and my experience from having worked um, where I've worked. Um, with entrepreneurs and business leaders of the future, which of course is all of you guys, uh, because you're investing in yourselves, you're investing in your futures um, by doing these courses. Um, and uh, I think, you know, Laneway is a great way to take your learning um, to the next level um, as an entrepreneur. So um, I'm, I'm loving being part of the Laneway team. Um, and uh, I'm looking forward to this uh, takeaway lunch session, um, which as you know, and I'm going to start to just share my screen with you. So let's have a look, we'll put it there and we will share. There you go. And yes, you know, that's me. So, um, okay, so what is success? You know, um, today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the mindset for achieving success and some of the key attributes and characteristics um, and mindset that I have really, I suppose, um, seen through my journey um, in business. Um, and when we say what is success, um, I think the main thing I would say at this point is that su success means very different things to different people. If you were to randomly ask 100 people, what does success mean to you? And I could ask each and every one of you, you would probably get 100 different replies. Um, if you go to the uh, dictionary, um, it will tell you that the definition of success is the accomplishment of an aim or a purpose. But success or the word is really a relative term. If you achieve what you want to and you are happy, 
then I believe that really is success. Um, so success can be applied to life in general, what you do in your general life, and it can also be applied to individual tasks in life. Um, so, for example, if you wanted to apply a success metric to the achievement of a set of business metrics, that could be your success measurement, like profitability or cash. It can also be applied to internal business processes. Um, so are we satisfying our customers' needs? What do we need to improve? And is that going to be our measure of success? Um, it can be applied to learning and innovation. Um, what needs to be done to improve and innovate and create value for our target customers or our stakeholders? And is that our measurement of success? Um, so success, as I'm saying, it means different things to different people and to different scenarios. And it's very subjective and it's very personal to you. My personal definition of success is to achieve my personal goals, whatever they may be. And that to me is success. Who knows Usain Bolt? Has anybody uh, heard of him? I'm sure you all have. Um, before I get on to sharing the mindset and the characteristics of achieving, achieving success, I wanted to share something from Usain Bolt's story. So you all know who he is, I'm sure. He's been on TV quite a bit. But just briefly, he's an eight-time gold medal Olympic a, a, a gold medal Olympic achiever. He is the only sprinter ever to win Olympic gold medals in 100 and 200 meters at three consecutive back to back Olympic Games 2008, 2012, 2016. And he also won two four by 100 meter relay um, gold medals. Uh, an absolutely incredible achievement. And it will probably never be beaten or achieved again, because to be able to do that back to back over that period of time um, is quite a significant um, achievement. And throughout the time from when Usain Bolt was um, a young lad, uh, just starting out his, um, his running and sprinting career, he was coached by one man, uh, a guy called Glenn Mills. And he was a major factor. Many times other coaches would come into his life and try to take over. Um, but Usain Bolt stayed um, true to the coach that had coached him, mentored him, trained him from the get go, turning him from a talented junior into the world's fastest man and eight consecutive gold medals. Um, now, if you were to ask Usain Bolt, he would tell you that he was a party boy. He hated training. He hated the hard work. Um, and the hard work was done over four years. Every single Olympic Games would come up. There'd be a four year run up to it, all for that one moment in time where he ran 100 meters in less than 10 seconds. Um, and if you ever get the chance to watch his movie, it's called I Am Bolt. His coach is a big part of that movie. Um, and uh, one of my favorite quotes in life is the one from Usain Bolt's um, coach and mentor, Glenn Mills, and that is that the journey is as important as the destination that you are going to. And if you pay attention to the journey, the destination you will reach will be the one that you desire or deserve. Um, so it's a, it's, an, it's a really fabulous quote because it, it says so much. And what it is saying is that success is a journey. It's not a destination, it's ongoing. You will have many, many successes along your journey and there will probably be just as many failures along the way too. And it's something that we have to be aware of um, and almost embrace um, because there is no failure. We have to always have in our head, there's no failure. There's just a failure to try, a failure to have a go. Um, and so, Working as I have over the many years with many independent business owners and entrepreneurs, I've observed those that have achieved their own definition of success um, and actually those that haven't. Um, and it's always amazed me how many people who may be polar opposites in um, personality, um, size, ethnicity, age, the diverseness of the people um, I've worked with is huge, but they can be equally successful in the business they choose. And I've observed some key traits, behaviors, habits, mindsets, 
amongst those who really have defined and achieved their success, and they have these in common, and they all have them, and they all have them all. They don't have them all, all the time, um, but they do have them. And, I, and that's really what I wanted to share with you today. Um, I wanted to share with you some of those key traits. Um, and I call them my 10 success factors um, or my 10 mindsets to achieve success. There are many more, but and each one you could probably talk to for about 45 minutes to an hour individually, just on the nuts and bolts of each one. But I'm going to share them with you very quickly um, today. But the most important part of it all is your mindset. What is your mindset? Are you in control of your own mindset? Because mindset is important. Um, I worked for a company called Mary Kay Cosmetics. I worked for them for 18 years, started by a woman, um, and she built it from one woman to a multi-billion dollar business across 35 countries worldwide. Um, and her mantra was, if you think you can, you can. And if you think you can't, you're probably right. Um, and so your mindset in everything that you do and you set your mind to is so important. Um, and so I would say to you, and I do it to myself all the time, and I talk to and I mentor business people, you know, where is your mind? What is your mindset right now? Do you think you can? Have you belief? Um, do you believe in your idea, your ability? Because mindset and where you start from is really important. And you need to keep control of that as much as you can. Um, and so having some of the following bits and pieces um, and the success factors that I'm going to talk to you about are part and parcel of having that strong mindset. So number one, people with a success mindset who, who experience success know their why. So it's an interesting um, quote really, know your why. Um, what is that? They know why they want to do something. Because if you know why you are doing anything, why you are where you are, um, that drives determination and purpose. And we had just heard Thais talk about purpose. Um, you know, if you know why you're doing something, then that gives you your purpose. Um, it drives your motivation and it drives the daily habits and those, I call them income producing activities. If you are um, in a, a small and medium sized entrepreneurial business, if it's your business, or if you are working for a large corporation, you're still going to have those income producing activities that you do on a daily basis that become your habits. If you know why, if you have the rationale and that why, um, then that provides you with that drive and determination. Um, and so I wanted to um, really reach out to you and say to you, make sure you know and be determined to discover your why what motivates you you know and um, because when you discover that it's kind of where it all starts because then the next step is you 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 become passionate about what it is you have what you want what you want to share what you want to sell so my number two in um, the success traits and mindsets and characteristics is successful people have a passion for what they do, a passion for their family, it can be a passion for achievement, a passion for helping others, a passion to share the best skincare product that's going to firm and turn the skin. They have passion um, and passion is essential to begin anything. And it is essential to continue anything because when perseverance is needed and the chips are down and your back's against the wall and you don't know what to do, you have to get back to why am I here and why do I love this? Hello. Okay, so I would say to you, be determined to find your passion and share that passion with others. That communicates authenticity and it communicates belief in you and what you are selling, what your business is, what your service is. Um, so successful people have and show a passion for what they do. So discover your passion. The next uh, word on my list is confidence. And you might be sitting there thinking confidence, oh my goodness. 
how do I get confident? I don't know what I'm doing half the time. And I've often had that thought um, my very self. Um, well, what I would say about confidence and confident people is you build confidence by doing. And always remember, practice makes perfect. And sometimes you have to fake it until you make it. And I've done that many times. I'm probably doing a little bit of it now. Um, it's, it's, it's something that the more you do, the better you get at it. The more mistakes you make, the better you learn and build from those mistakes. And so confidence is an attitude. Confidence comes from your why, it comes from your passion, and it comes from your daily habits. It comes from doing the things consistently daily. Um, and they do say it takes 21 days to build a consistent habit. Um, and I love the quote from Aristotle, Aristotle there, which you can see, we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence then is not an act, but a habit. Um, and if we um, build those daily habits, um, it gives us confidence. It gives us confidence in ourselves and what we're doing. Um, and so a confident person is someone people will, um, will gravitate to um, and will listen to. Um, and, um, and so um, I always have confidence in there. Successful people show confidence, whether they're feeling it or not. You know, and as I said, sometimes you have to fake it till you make it. And I've done that many times. Can't, successful people, they have vision. They have a vision for themselves. They have a vision for um, their business. They have vision, imagination and belief. So what is vision? I suppose a vision is where you see yourself in five years or 10 years from now. What will you be doing? Where will you be? Who will you be with? You know, will you be uh, sailing on a beautiful yacht across the Mediterranean Sea, having, you know, taken yourself there by the, you know, your own hard work? Is that where you see yourself? Is that your vision that one day that's where you will be? Um, your life's vision dis really does define who you want to be and what you want to be known for. Um, and probably the set of experiences and accomplishments that you're going to aim for. Um, so having vision really helps define your goals because it gives them the framework to help you evaluate that. Um, so when we look at all of these um, characteristics and attributes and mindsets, a vision really becomes your why, doesn't it? They're all intermingled. If you know why you're doing something and you have a purpose for doing that, then you have motivation to get there because your vision is to see you where, where you want to be. Successful people are able to put all of that together. They can put them individually together and then they come together as a whole. Um, so successful people definitely have vision. They have a vision for themselves and for what they do. So it's important to really see where you want to see yourself in the next five or 10 years. And that's not always easy to do. You know, if you're 21 and you're thinking, all I want to do is, you know, get to the end of the week and, you know, and, 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 and have, a, have, a, have a job, then that's, you know, that in itself can be a short-term goal that is leading to the vision of. Um, so um, vision is a very important part of your success and your future success. Successful people are great time managers and very effective time managers, but there are four areas in your business that you have to manage. You have to manage your time, your emotions, your skill and your money. Um, they are hugely important um, and they are learned, learned techniques. If you're not a good time manager, you can learn how to do that. A simple six most important things to do list will help you. Um, but managing your time is crucial. It's crucial because you need to not only manage it, but allocate your time to complete your priority tasks. And it's very simply explained as knowing what needs to be done by when. That is managing and allocating your time. And um, successful people are really good at doing that, focusing on priorities, getting it done. But underneath time management are the other managements of managing your emotions. Emotional management is really the ability. Um, and, and I loved that um, Tace was talking about um, 
uh, the emotional um, EQ uh, workshop that's available because EQ is so important today. It is particularly important in today's corporate environment. But I think it's, in, it's important as you build as leaders um, to be able to manage your emotions, both the positive and the challenging ones. Um, and, you know, you come across them all on your journey for sure. Um, but the challenging ones are always the most difficult. And it can be as simple as someone saying no to whatever it is you're offering. You know, how do you manage the emotion of overcoming a no? Um, and that's a very simple context. Um, but um, emotional management uh, is really important and successful people manage their emotions at the times they need to manage it. Skill management is how you build and grow. It's knowledge of your business. It's the things you will learn over time. And it's the willingness and the openness to be able to continue to be a learner. Um, and money management really goes without saying. So when I call it time management, there are four areas of real management and you need to be good at them. Time, emotion, skill and money. And successful people nail that. Successful people also have a great image. What's your image? Have you checked your image today? What does image really mean anyway? You know, I always think, oh, you know, have I done my hair? Have I, have I got a great suit on or have I got my high heels on? You know, it's, it's image is so much more than that. Um, but successful people with a great image will admire you and be more prepared to follow you where you lead. But let's break it down a little, because what does image really mean? Well, image is a couple of things, really. It's your personal image and how people will perceive you at a glance. It's the way you dress. Absolutely. It's the way you look. It's the way you behave. It's the way you communicate. It's do you have eye contact? You know, it, it's it's all of that. And people... Um, only look at your appearance to get that first impression. Um, and and inter interestingly enough, and you probably all know this, but um, I remember the first time I heard this, I thought, oh, I'm, I might need to just fix myself up a bit. People make their first impression about you in the first three minutes of meeting you. And you never get a second chance to make a good first impression or a positive first impression. Um, and so my advice and my learning from that is always to make a good impression by having a great image. And the image um, is, is your personal image. It's how you look, it's how you feel, it's how you are, it's how you behave, it's how you, you communicate. That's your personal image. But your personal branding is also part of image as well. And this is a whole subject all on its own. And I, I, I love the content of brand. Um, and personal branding and corporate branding. But your personal branding is quite different to your personal image. It's what people think of you over the long term. And whether you like it or not in this digital age, and you guys are all youngsters, so you're, you were born in the digital age, um, everyone has a personal brand. So if you have an online account such as Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, whatever you're on, you're probably on them all, um, then you already have a personal brand. And that personal brand is your online reputation. And undoubtedly, people will judge you not only on what they see, but how you are and what they see online too. So um, it's really important to be very aware of not only your personal image, you know, what you say, do, but your personal brand, um, which is, you know, that's what people think of you over the long term. Um, and I think, you know, success is something you attract by the person you become. You know, <laughs> you know I'm not saying don't go out in your ripped jeans. But what I am saying is, and, 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 and I've actually tested this out. So I'm, I'm going to share this story. It's probably a little bit old fashioned. So I apologize right up front. Um, but, you know, I, I love Pretty Woman, the movie. Who loves Pretty Woman, the movie? It's a great movie. It's old, but it's great. Um, and she walks into the into the store, doesn't she? And she's got her old ripped jeans on and the tatty old T-shirt and hair scraped back and she's no makeup on. Um, and the service assistant doesn't even look at her. She prejudges her just like that and goes, oh, she's got no money. Um, and uh, you know, this is another whole subject on it. So never prejudge judge people but then when she goes back in and her image is slamming she looks amazing she's got the bag she's got the confidence happening and she's got the strut they they're falling over backwards to help her aren't they 
Um, so that's one side of image, but the journey of your personal brand um, is the person you become is, I think, even more attractive. And I, and I hope I'm making sense. Your personal brand and the way people perceive you is when they say your name, what word comes to mind? You know, what, what is their opinion of you? Do you really know? When you're not in the room, what are they saying about you? That is your reputation. Um, and as well as your brand, your personal brand is only ever going to be as good as your reputation. Um, so if I can never share anything else, I would say build that reputation that you want to carry um, with you forever because um, it's very hard to change down the track. Okay, successful people lead by example. Have you ever worked for someone who just points and shoots? I used to call them pointers and shooters. Um, they would say, go and do that. And you go, oh God, okay, I'll go and do it again. You know, it's, um, it's, it's, it's a leadership style that I have never really gravitated to. And I would say 99% of people do not gravitate to a point and shoot or autocratic leadership. Success um, is built by leading by example. And people who lead by example have great people skills. They are, they never ask people to do things that they are not prepared to do themselves. Um, you know, and as an entrepreneur building a startup from the ground up, you have to become uh, what we would say in England, jack of all trades, chief cook and bottle washer, whatever, you are prepared to do it. Um, and you lead from the front by doing, not saying. So they encourage others and inspire others by what they do and say. Um, and so people want to be around um, those that lead by example. They motivate others, you know, just through example, and what I say example and integrity. And so I would ask you there right now, as you, as you think about where you're going um, right now in the next 12 months, two years, five years, what sort of leader do you want to follow? And what sort of leader do you want to be? Um, because you are all leaders of the future, if that's your choice. Okay, what's the next one? Oh, this is a biggie. And you've already all covered this. I know you have. And you will all know this inside out. And, and I, 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 I've, I've spoken about goal setting for many years, but successful people set goals. They have goals. They have big ones. They have small ones. They have weekly ones. They have monthly ones. They break them down and they work towards goal achievement. Everyone needs a goal. Um, it's often been said that if a man doesn't know where he's going in life, he will only end up where he's headed. Um, and when you set goals, what you actually do is take control of your life or your work's direction. They provide you with some focus um, and, they, and setting goals really can keep you moving. Um, it, keeps you, it keeps you happy, um, increases your happiness and obviously gives you benefits to yourself and your organization, depending on what those goals are. What I would say is no one can choose goals for you. You need to choose your own. Um, and they can be big, they can be small, um, but you must decide what they are for yourself. And for goal setting to be really, really effective, they need to be smart, or as I call them, smarter goals. Smarter goals. You know what they are. That means specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, um, time-related, and the A at the end is agreed. Um, and I add that at the end, now specific is, you know, how, how specific are you with your goal? I want to climb Mount Everest. That's fairly specific, isn't it? It's a specific goal. I want to do this. It might be, I want to be, um, I, I want to be in leadership. Is that specific? It's, it's less specific because what does that really mean? You could say, I wanna earn a position managing a development team for a startup tech company. That's specific. So um, a specific goal is really important, big, small, whatever. Measurable results are really important. So you have to measure them. That is the evidence that proves you're making progress. That's the milestones you tick off on your way. Um, and it gives you opportunities to reevaluate the success or the length of your goal achievement. Um, is it achievable? Um, setting goals 
are have to be achievable. Could can you reasonably accomplish it in a in a, in a certain time frame? I think is what I would say to that. Um, or are there additional steps that you would need to take? Um, and is your goal realistic? So you know, I want to climb Mount Everest tomorrow. Is that realistic? It's not really um, because tomorrow I don't have the kit, I don't have the training to back it, all of the above. So it has to be a goal that is realistic um, and it needs to be timely. So that is, when are you going to achieve it? What is your goal time frame? What is that end date that you're going to do it by? Um, and the agreed, which some use and some don't, I like to use agreed because that provides a little bit of accountability to a friend, to a manager. Um, you know, if you're in business and you have some key goals that you need to achieve by a specific time, then the accountability is to your manager. Um, and, our, and it's agreed that we're going to do this together. If it's um, a goal to climb Mount Everest, it might be that you're doing, you're, you're talking and agreeing it with your training buddy. Um, so um, specific goals, smart goals um, are definitely the way to go. All right, we are getting there. Is everybody still awake? I hope so. I can see Liliana, you're still awake. So that's great. Hi, Liliana. Um, number nine, successful people have discipline. Who's disciplined here? Um, I am most of the time. <laughs> But I'm a great procrastinator too. Who knows how to procrastinate clean the bathroom? I know how to do that. That's fantastic. You're putting off what you don't want to do. But um, discipline, it's, it's one of the biggest um, success attributes. I believe it should probably almost be number one. Um, but I bring it all the way down to the end because all the others need to be in place. Disciplined, discipline is being willing to do the things you don't want to do when you need to do them. Um, and as that quote says there, it's, it's often been described as the, uh, as the bridge between goals and accomplishment. Uh, with that in mind, discipline is, is, is a process of building consistent daily habits or actions over time that lead us to where we want to go. Um, taking small and consistent steps and that help you form the habits and doing them religiously, rain, hail or shine, you know, and, uh, you know, if we go back to that, I want to climb Mount Everest um, example, you know, what um, are, is the discipline that's going to get someone to have the ability to do that in, in, in that 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 moment that they want to do it. Um, and it is the discipline to do the work and the training um, to, that's going to, to lead you towards where you want to go. So discipline, we are what we do repeatedly. I go back to that great um, Aristotle quote, we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence then is not an act, but a habit. Um, and so if you do things often enough, it becomes a daily habit. Um, and daily habits are what will get you to where you want to go. So discipline is the biggie. And I'm on number 10, short-term sacrifice. Everybody has to give up something, don't they? Um, and uh, sometimes we don't really want to do that, but successful people are prepared for short-term sacrifice in order, to, in order to achieve long-term gain. What is it that you may need to give, it, give up? Is it your time? You know, is it that uh, every Saturday morning for three hours, I have to go out, set up that market, whatever I, it is I have to do. It's taking me away from my family, yes, which is a sacrifice, but it's moving me towards my goal that I need to achieve. I want to achieve. It's my why, it's my passion. Um, and so nothing comes without um, hard work. And so successful people are always prepared for the short-term sacrifice for giving up, putting up and doing the hard yards when they need to do them um, in order to have that long term gain. You know, and as I as I come to a finish, I'm going we started with Usain and we're going to finish with Usain Bolt um, because he is quite an amazing achiever um, in life in his area of expertise, which is, of course, sprint running. Um, we all have dreams, but dreams are free. Goals have a cost. While you can daydream 
for free, goals don't come without a price. Time, effort, sacrifice, and in his case, sweat. Um, how will you pay for your goals? Um, and I really think um, it's a great place to finish um, because, um, you know, when you look at those 10 um, characteristics um, of success and the mindset um, needed for that, um, I truly believe, um, you know, you have a recipe to take yourself um, where you want to go. Um, I'm going to stop sharing my screen so that I can see you all and say, have you got any questions? <laughs> because that's what we usually do, isn't it now? Lovely to see you all there. Oh, there's lots of you. I hope you've enjoyed um, that little talk, um, the takeaway lunch session. Um, I've loved being part of um, the last 45 minutes with you all. Um, and, uh, you know, as I, as I said, you know, through, through my um, journey um, to um, where I am now, which is in, in, a, in a time of my career where I want to be able to bring value, where I want to be able to work with the future leaders of the, of, with leaders of the future, um, and uh, and help them achieve goals. Um, I think uh, the success mindset um, and the success characteristics um, are really um, something that you build over time. Um, but each and every one of the people I've seen drive their own success from startup um, really do have um, all 10 of those characteristics. Um, and so have a think about them and think to yourself, OK, what am I really good at and what do I need to work on? And because you're all here right now, you're all doing a great course with um, Laneway. You know, you're all putting that effort and that um, discipline into your learning. Um, so um, I wish you all lots of success. And I hope you me I meet you all really soon. And I'm going to hand you back to Tice. Hey guys, uh, thank you so much, Jen. Uh, such an inspiring talk. And I think it resonates with a lot of the conversations that we have in the classroom. So there's an alignment here, an alignment that there's a lot of things, of course, there's the whole intangible process of finding what you love, finding what your purpose is, understanding your values, but there are the things that you need to do for yourself. And that these are the things that no one else will do for you. You have to do it. So you have to own your own time. You have to own your own rela reality. Set a go and chase it. Sometimes just by chasing a go, new doors are open that you didn't even know existed. And that becomes, that becomes something part of your pathway. So a big take home here is believe in yourself and go get it. It's as simple as that. Is if, if you sum it all up into what it is, believe in yourself, find something that you love, believe in yourself and go get it. There will be days that it will work. There will be days that it will work better. But soon you realize that the wins start over being more than the losses. And then you know that you're moving in the right direction. Sometimes just by the movement of going towards your goals, that on its own is a land of opportunities that may open up for you. So I think one of the things that I always try to tell you guys in the classrooms or in the laneway classes, for those of you who are not our students through, through the other courses, but the experience in life, is that once you know where you're going, go. That's the best way of getting there. It, it, it's interesting, and I'll, I'll just share something. I was um, I was talking to the CEO of Waterford Crystal, um, and um, he uh, I, 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 he he shared something with me, um, which which I thought was was really really interesting. And he said, um, when your back's against the wall, and you don't know what to do, just do something. Um, and so it is all about, you know, sometimes you don't know where to start and sometimes you think, oh, I don't know, I haven't got a goal. I don't know what I want to do. Just do something. Just, you know, and I, I would say to small business, you know, what is it that um, will bring another customer into your into your store? And if that's picking up the phone and speaking to five people that day, then just you have to start somewhere. Um, and so um his, my quote that came from him was, there's magic in action. And I used to have that on my desk um, and, it, and I still have it on my desk. It, it, it's a great um, thought provoker because when you don't know what to do, just do something. If you don't have a goal, just go for it. You know, just think of something that you like and, and, and work towards that um, and take some action. So yeah, good luck. <laughs>
Excellent. Thank you so much, Jen. On behalf of everyone at Laneway, thank you so much. We're so happy to have you on the team. Uh, so happy to have uh, watched your session and learn from you. From everyone else in the room, thank you for attending. If you are in the Wednesday class, we will be resuming your regular class at 2 p.m. So rejoin me and your regular link at 2 p.m. So that gives you a little bit of a 10 minute break from now until then. But then again, Jen, thank you so much. Thank you everyone for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.